It's time now for Little Laceton Local Sports in Sports. The George High School Association says they're conducting a full investigation into the bench clearing brawl that occurred Tuesday afternoon at the Benegrad Lafarina between Wayne County and Spalding High School. Every player was ejected from the game, which stopped the game, disqualifying both teams from the state tournament. And GHSA says the athletes face additional sit out penalties. The customary is two games. Steve Figueroa of the GHSA says the two game suspension takes effect immediately. They stated if a girl basketball player was to play a spring sport such as tennis or golf, the two-game suspension would begin right then. Those that just played basketball will be forced to sit out two games next season. GHSA Director Robin Hines sent out a statement which reads as follows. He says, quote, there's no place within the George High School Association for this type of behavior. It was egregious, and we're not going to put up with things like this, end quote. Hines says they have the video. They're conducting a full investigation. They state punishments and fines will be handed out before it's all said and done. GHSA reports that the incident Tuesday marks the first double disqualification in the 102-year history of the George High School Association. This bench-clearing brawl has become the first page news for the AJC. Yahoo Sports, USA Today, and other national publications have reported on the incident, and the video has been shown several on several TV outlets as well. Still no word or statement from the Wayne County School System. Spalding County School System sent a statement saying they're embarrassed by the situation and they're cooperating fully with the GHSA. GHSA investigation. NWF OVM will continue to follow the story as it develops. Once again, the GHSA and its director, Robin High, is not happy with what took place on Tuesday. And again, they state there's no place within the George High School Association for this type of behavior. And again, that from the GHSA man in charge, Executive Director Robin Hines. Another Wayne County High School student athlete signed a scholarship to continue his education and football playing days as defensive lineman Bradley Wood, son of Cherie and Lance Wood, signed Wednesday to play at Ribbon College in the state of Wisconsin. WI Folk fam on hand for the ceremony. First, here were the comments about Bradley Wood from his defensive line coach, Scott Brown. Hard work, perseverance, those things, they still work in today's society. Uh, and Bradley Wood, he, he is a testimony to that, and I thank God for the for the opportunity I had to coach him. Um, the, the season this year at the beginning, back in the summer, things weren't going great for Bradley, but he just kept pressing forward and forward and, and harder and harder and kept pushing uh, to fight his way uh, into the lineup. And then uh, uh, he, he progressed along and along each game, each week getting better and better. Uh, and we found out later on in the season that we needed to have him on the field, whereas uh, we felt like he was a, a bonus early on. It was a must-have out there at the end of the season. Um, so again, uh, hard work, perseverance, he's a testimony to it. And I hope that uh, you gentlemen sitting over there at, at take note of that right there as you go back to the weight room, as, as, as we get on the grass in the spring right there, I hope that uh, you will follow that that uh, that mentality uh, with how to conduct your business uh, because uh, he did it the right way and uh, I appreciate it so much and uh, you're going to go do great things up there in the in the great north you're going to freeze your butt off but uh, you're going to enjoy it and you're going to make Wayne County proud I know that for certain uh, so thank you for what you've done for us and the example that you led uh, and we wish you the best of luck. Man. And once again, those comments, uh, Scott Brown, defensive line coach at Wayne County High School. Coach Jay Bush also sent the following statement. He says, I'm so proud of Bradley and this special accomplishment. It was everything a coach could have asked for. He played extremely hard. He always put the team's success above his own. And as good as he was for us on a Friday night, he was even better in the school building. Bradley was abs- an absolute joy to coach, and I'm so proud that he's going to sit – going to get this opportunity to further his playing career, but more importantly, his education. WFOFM had a chance to talk with Bradley Wood, learn about his decision to head to the state of Wisconsin. Bradley Wood signed a scholarship day to go to Ripon College up in Wisconsin. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Tell us how this came about. Uh, a field level app. I got on my phone. They followed me and then texted me and said, hey, come up here and go on a visit. So I went on a visit and I loved it. I loved the people up there and I loved the facility and I felt like I was at home up there. So I'm definitely ready to go back and start my um, start my journey. Well, watching you on the Friday nights, uh, you were really big impact player, especially on third down. We called you third down specialist. You always caused havoc. So, uh, yes, sir. Is that where they plan to use you on the defensive lineup there? Uh, they plan to have me at a hybrid defensive end, so sometimes I'll go 
pass rush. Sometimes I'll drop back in coverage, and like he said, he said he, maybe I'll catch a pick. So. <laughs> I heard this is going to be a good dual scholarship athlete again, academics, so congrats on that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Academics is important, isn't it? Yes, sir. It is important. And uh, if I would have took it a little bit more serious during my freshman year, I, I probably would have got a little bit more out of it. But, you know, a lot of people don't take the first year real serious. But, uh, well, Wisconsin's a long way. You, you ready for that long trip? And you're not nah. going to get homesick, are you? <laughs> well... I don't, I'm going to get homesick, but I ain't going to be no two hours away, so it's going to be 22 hours away, so it's going to be a long ride. I understand that. Well, again, we wish you the best of luck, and congrats on the scholarship. Yes, sir. Thank you. And once again, those comments of Bradley Wood again going to Ripon College after graduation. High school baseball team has the day off, but they'll be in action Friday and Saturday the Georgia Dugout Classic in Emerson, Georgia. They'll play Friday at 6 p.m. against Loganville High School, and then Saturday a doubleheader. First game Saturday at 10 against Winter Park, Florida. Then at 3 p.m. they take on Hillgrove High School out of Atlanta. The BFO fan will be at the Georgia Dugout Classic. We'll bring you all three games this weekend and first game Friday night at 6 p.m. against Loganville. Today, both middle school baseball teams are in action. Arthur Williams hosts Brantley at Bill Morse Park. Martha Puckett is at Ware County. Martha Puckett, a 12-11 winner this week over Jeff Davis Middle School. Winning pitcher Clayton Blocker. He allowed just one earned run, zero walks, two strikeouts. Other pitchers, Riley Martin, Hutch Scapino, and Ryder Highsmith. Kane Flowers led the team in hitting. when He went three for five. Huxley Dennison went two for three, and Sammy Tyre went one for two. Again, the JV baseball team's in action today. They host Pierce County at 5.30 p.m. Break basketball this week. The All-Stars are underway. The 10-year boys lost to Camden County 44-27. Men's Golf Association has a meeting on Thursday, February 29th. That will take place at 7 p.m. in the Banquet Hall of the Pine Forest Country Club. Then it will be served at 7, followed by a business meeting. Again, that's taking place Thursday, February 29th at 7 p.m the meeting of the Men's Golf Association. And the Men's Golf Association gearing up their Winter Blues Golf Tournament. The date of that, Saturday, March the 2nd, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start, 3.30 per team. It's a 27-hole one-day event. A fried chicken lunch will be provided. Again, if you need more information or sign your team up, call the Pro Shop at 912-427-6505. And that's going to do it for the latest in local sports.